everyone. It's good to be with you again today. Today we are going to continue with our journey through the Old Testament with a story about Nehemiah. But first, let's sing together. Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. 
Bye. 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 Romans and Corinthians 1 and 2 Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians and Thessalonians 1 and 2 First and Second Timothy, Titus and Philemon Hebrew, James, First and Second Peter and John 1, 2, 3 And don't forget to do the Bible book Last week, our memory verse was Daniel 6, verse 16. May your God, whom you serve so faithfully, rescue you. Today, our memory verse is Nehemiah 1, verse 11. O Lord, please hear my prayer. Listen to the prayers of those who delight in honouring you. Please say this with me. Nehemiah 1, verse 11. O Lord, please hear my prayer. Listen to the prayers of those of us who delight in honouring you. Let's sing one more song together.
we learnt about Daniel, a Jew who believed and served the Lord and who was saved from the lion's den. Today we are going to learn about Nehemiah. You remember that the Israelites had disobeyed God and that God had punished them by allowing another country to conquer them. Well, after 70 years, some of the God's people returned to Jerusalem, but Nehemiah was still living in Susa, working for the king. We read about this in Nehemiah 1 to 2. Please watch this video with me to see what happened. Hi kids, how have you been? Hello Holy, you are awake? Well, yes, I feel fresh and chirpy and ready to tell you another story from the Bible. And I am sure you know what you have to do. Yes, we do. We have to listen to your story very carefully and answer your question at the end of it. Great. So today, I shall tell you a story about a man called Nehemiah. There was a time when King Artaxerxes was the ruler of the Persian Empire. The king had a trusted official whose name was Nehemiah. Nehemiah's hometown was Jerusalem and he knew that the temple city of Jerusalem was in ruins. The thought of this made him very, very sad. One day, Nehemiah was serving wine to the king at dinner when the king noticed that Nehemiah was very sad. He had not seen him like this ever before. The king asked him, Why do you look so sad? Are you sick? Nehemiah was surprised and afraid to answer. But then he said, Your Majesty, my home city was burned down long ago. All my ancestors are buried here. And this is what makes me sad. The king was confused as to what it was that Nehemiah exactly wanted. Nehemiah told him that he wished to go to Jerusalem and rebuild it. The king immediately granted him his request and helped him by giving him passes to go through all the provinces on the other side of the river Euphrates. The king also ordered Asaph the forest officer to give Nehemiah all the wood that he needed to build the temple fort, the city walls, and his own house. Nehemiah knew that the king had helped him so much because God was with him. Wow! That was such a beautiful story, Holy! Absolutely! So, what is today's question, Holy? I know the question! I think you are supposed to know the answer, Gumbo, not the question. <laughs> so, the question is, what was the name of the forest officer? Well, I know the answer of this question too. I'm such a good boy. The answer is Asa. Excellent. Hope you guys come back soon. Bye, Holy. We shall. What can we learn from the story of Nehemiah? Nehemiah's heart was broken. And he was sad when he learned that the people in Jerusalem were struggling because the city's wall was in ruins. He knew that he had to do something, but he couldn't do it on his own. That is why he prayed and asked God to help him. Sin breaks down the walls that we put up to protect our lives. We should pray and ask God to help us to, to protect us from sin. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we may not have the real walls that are broken, but we ask your help in protecting us from sin and harm. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to close this lesson with one more song, so please sing with me. Upon the sand, and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came.
So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your house on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. The blessings come down as your prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord. And now you can do the activities that will go with this lesson. I hope you'll have a great week and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.